Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us the power of a woman's menstrual flow. Most of us don't know how powerful a woman's menstrual flow is. I did a previous video concerning that and there are a lot of testimonies coming from that particular video. So I want to share the part two or let me say the continuation of that particular video how you can use your menstrual flow to conceive, how you can use your menstrual, uh, menstrual flow to bless somebody, how you can use your menstrual flow to get anything you desire to have in this world, or you can use it to wish somebody good. This is just how to use it positively. In a family, as a woman, you have the power to bless who you want to bless. If your siblings or your husband or your children are not doing well, you can use your menstrual and your menstrual flow to bless them. You can use it to change their destiny for good. If you feel that somebody is under the course, under a course, maybe your siblings, your children, your parents, or somebody you cherish so much, you can use your menstrual flow to destroy that course that is following that person. Or the person is facing a lot of stagnation, step back, rejection, nothing is moving at all for the person. You can use your menstrual flow to bless such person. Be it your husband, your children, your friend, any family member you choose to bless, you can use your menstrual flow as a woman to do that. You can equally use your menstrual flow as a woman to bless somebody who is looking for the fruit of the womb. Even you yourself, if you're looking for the fruit of the womb, you can use your menstrual flow to bless yourself, to conceive and have your child without any problem. For those that is always experiencing miscarriage, you can use your menstrual flow to put an end to that. If your husband is finding it difficult to succeed in life, you can use your menstrual flow to bless him and he will be successful as a man and you know bring and make you proud the way you want but note there is a clause to it if you're a man and your woman is fond of praying for you and you finally succeed please do not abandon that woman because that strength that energy that power she uses in blessing she can equally use it to destroy whatever she has prayed for no this and no peace as a man. So all you need to do for me, let me start by blessing your partner or your children or your siblings or your friends with your menstrual flow. What you will do, once you start your period, get an egg. This is an egg, any kind of egg, be it a native egg, an agri egg, any kind of egg you have you can find around you then get your your menstrual flow that first day you saw your menstrual flow you are going to do it to the end of your menstrual flow so on the first day you get an egg get one egg if your flow lasts for five days you are going to use five eggs if it lasts for four days you are going to use four eggs if it lasts for two days you are going to use two eggs so when you get the egg from that day you saw your period, get, get the egg, rub the period uh, blood on the egg. After rubbing it, you hold it on your right hand. When you hold it on, on your right hand, you begin to pray. If you're praying for your uh, partner to be successful, you call that your partner's name. Let me I assume your partner's name is Solution Empire. You say Solution Empire. I bless you today, being Wednesday, the 30th of November. Whatever you lay your hands on shall prosper. That job you have searched, you have desired, you have desired to get, you will get it before the end of this week or before the end of this month. As you have applied, as you have submitted your CV, you will be the chosen one. Nobody can say no to your rejection, to your proposal nobody can say no to your documents nobody can say no to your cv you will be the chosen one you'll be the most qualified candidate for that job after doing it you go outside and break this egg this recipe 
this ritual should be done by 12 midnight so set your alarm if actually you want to bless that person then the second day you repeat the same thing the third day you uh, you repeat the same thing for those that will tell me that they cannot break the egg outside maybe because people will see you or people will think you're doing something evil you can break it in your toilet your toilet seat break it then use salt water to flush it before you flush it completely so this is how you would do it. But breaking it outside is more powerful. If you live alone and you live here, you can break the egg. Go ahead and do it. But if you don't live alone to avoid problems of your neighbors, do it in your toilet. Then for the people looking for the fruits of the womb, once you start your period, you're going to use just one egg for your own. So when you get the egg, you rub it your uh, period blood then you pray that anything causing barrenness, making you feel less of a woman, you don't want to know where it's coming from. If it's from your husband, if it's from your side, if it's hormonal imbalance, if it's low sperm count, if it's spiritual matters, that you have come to fight whatever it is, that God Almighty should end whatever that is causing this barrenness in your life that you declare fruitfulness upon yourself that you declare that your womb will carry a child and carry it to full term and you deliver they will hear the voice of a mother and that of a child you don't just pray for god to give you a child pray that you deliver and come out safely from the labor room that should be your prayer anytime you're praying for the fruit of the womb there are people that will carry their pregnancy after nine months they may give birth and die or their child will die. So always complete your prayers that you will deliver and come as alive with your child. Then after that, you break this egg outside. This should be done by 12 in the night. You say that this blood will be the last period of blood you will see till the next nine months. So after that, keep meeting your partner. You will see how God is going to change your story from a barren woman to a fertile or fruitful woman those that mocked you will be jealous of how god is going to bless you with beautiful and intelligent children then for you to bless whoever you wish is the same process that one should be done throughout your period of time when you do this whoever you bless god will surely bless the person and please do not use your period to cause anybody because that cause will be irreversible. So try this simple recipe and make sure you share your testimony under the comment section or on my WhatsApp number. Congratulations in advance and I declare child dedications come next year, 2023. Mark today's date and watch how God is going to do it for us on this channel. Thank you once again. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.